Hi ladies, I'm Allie and um, for this particular assignment I decided to do the leadership standard. Um, I'm a little bit familiar with it because of my background and I will talk about that a little bit more here in our video. So our first question was the concept behind the standard and definition. So the standard is the leadership standard which is um, the need to lead our learning within our system. There's a need to lead our learning within our systems. And as a leader, you're that role that's the advocate to be a voice for kids in schools with the state and sometimes at the federal level, just things that are going on with laws and such as that. Um, the role that you take as a leader is to remove barriers that exist and it shows what we need to do and how to get there. Our second question, the benefits to educators who adopt beliefs, practices, and dispositions related to the standard. Um, I was actually uh, an elementary education major before, and I just switched over um, a couple weeks ago over to the ed studies. I was interning, or I was a student teacher in a second grade classroom, and the mentor teacher, so the teacher that I was working right underneath, she was the team lead for the second grade. So I have a little bit um, of knowledge as to how this works. So my mentor teacher would go to meetings once a month. I think it was on Tuesdays where all of the team leads at the school got together with the principal and the assistant principal. And they talked about goals and things that they wanted to um, each of the team leads to go over with the rest of their team. So the way that I was at the Higley District, which on Wednesdays they have half days, and the reason why they have these half days is so that teachers can do something which is called a PLC, which is Professional Learning Community. So every Wednesday, right after the kids left, for about an hour, all of the set, at least for us, um, all of our second grade team got together. We talked about um, the curriculum map, so there was like a certain um, thing that my mentor teacher put together since she was the team lead and in this thing um, that she put together it would say every subject and what they were going to be doing for what week so that really helped the rest of the, the rest of the team kind of know what to do um, in order to make sure that they had all of the standards done by the end of the year so um, this PLC our time um, in the PLC was always used very well. We always talked about standards. We always talked about how the kids were doing. We talked about data, so how the students were doing after a particular test. And it was just really nice because everyone in the second grade was kind of on the same page because we took that time to do PLC. So I definitely think that it's very beneficial to um, – do PLCs and then also in particular leadership. My mentor teacher was always well above and prepared for everything because she was the one doing all this extra work and just always um, knew exactly what was going on. And the third question is how is the standard how this standard might help in my future job? Um, I want to be an executive director at a boys and girls club and your role as that is to be a leader. You're a leader in the particular branch that you're at and so you have you know staff and people underneath you so I'm already getting prepared um, for my future just learning a little bit more about the leadership standard um, that's a part of professional learning uh, I know it went a little bit over three minutes but uh, that was the leadership standard bye